What's up guys, it's Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM in a flash review. Today we'll be talking about Serendipity 3.0 using my all new old hard drive stand with double sided 3M tape to hold things a little uh, more tight and see if I can get a better camera angle. So who knew hard drives that were 10 years old could actually still be good for something. So anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and do this review for 3.0. Uh, we've got Serendipity 2.0 on the left, Serendipity 3.0 on the right. Let's get both phones going here. And I missed on the left. So get that one up. We've got the AT&T splash screens along with the Galaxy S. Uh, GCI 9000 screens for both. Both ROMs support boot animation.zip so you can upload whatever you'd like. Obviously out of the box we've got the standard uh, Android uh, crayon type uh, boot animation that's been present in a lot of the serendipity based ROMs. Uh, one thing to mention is both of these ROMs have super fast boot speed so you'll be pretty impressed with that. I've always seemed to like that. Stock lock out of the box is Android lock screen for both devices. So our 2.0 is up. And let's go ahead and take a look at the available RAM right out of the box. All we've added is Advanced Task Killer, Neo Core, Nintomark, and Linpack for Android. And at about 204 versus 187, so slightly more RAM available for 2.0. It's going to happen when we have a lot of extra uh, things running. Um, and there's a lot of changes to the kernels and whatnot, so you're gonna, it's going to vary from kernel to kernel. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the About Phone information. Sorry, not used to this dock yet, so I'm going to have some key misses. So about phone, near the bottom, you can see that we've already flashed the Steam number 4 build kernel. But build numbers for both ROMs are 2.0 on the left for Serendipity, 3.0 on the right. Uh, running the older Iswald Glitter Balls kernel, uh, build number 7 for 2.0. And as we mentioned, the Steam number 4 kernel for 3.0. Big changes in the modems, we've got JK4 on the right to resolve a lot of the modem based issues when coming out of airplane mode. And JL3 on the left. Um, which is the uh, the previous modem that we were using. Also, both ROMs on 2.2.1 Froyo JPY based. So we're going to be running the same type of builds on both. Let's go ahead and step right into some scores. I don't want to bog both phones down any longer. Run benchmarks for Linpack real quick. And 3.0 got a 16.8 versus a 16.6 for 2.0 run that one more time. That's an absolutely fantastic Linpack score so you can really see uh, that the uh, the lag fix options are working great. Uh, kernel speed is fantastic. 16.6 for 2.0, 16.75 for 3.0. So slight advantage to 3.0 there. Go ahead and do task kill again and start our Nita marks and see if my stand is capable of doing that. Back out just a little bit and run. Oh wow, I got him. Okay, so this is going to be our Nenomark test. Should see about the same frame rates. GPU, you won't really notice much of a difference. But we do this anyway because we do it in all our ROM reviews. Always like to take this time to thank you guys for watching, supporting the channel. I'm really trying to work hard towards a YouTube partnership in which we can make a power channel uh, to bring all this info to you uh, absolutely free. Your donations are appreciated. I also ask that if you consider donating to me, you consider donating to the ROM developer as he or she is greatly appreciated for their work. So we got a 52.8 for 3.0 and a 52.9 for 2.0. So that's actually a small GPU advantage over a lot of the stock ROMs we see. So we're going to flip this back over and take you back in a little closer and go back home on both. So about the same for our Nenomark. One more advanced task kill. Load up our Neo cores. And... Great. I seem to be more accurate with this stand that I built. Okay, so we got our Neo Core test running right now. Obviously, both phones are rooted out of the box as are most Captivate-based ROMs within the XDA developers' development section. 
Gingerbread theme is available on both ROMs, so you'll notice the orange accents and gingerbread-like features such as the gingerbread launcher and keyboard. So we'll get our score here in just a sec. Probably looking for about a 55.6 or 7. Let's see what we end up with. Really hope this video comes out clearer. The angle is straight on. 55.7 for 2.0, 55.8, small advantage for 3.0. That's great. About average looking scores there. So we've got all our test run. I'm not going to do a quadrant. Quadrant scores were 17, 50, and higher. That's an outstanding quadrant score for Captivate. So uh, in case you were wondering, that's what you can expect. Um, as we mentioned, the theming has AOSP icons throughout. We've got these nice icons at the top that are shortened up a little bit. And uh, both menus are themed the same. Uh, obviously, when you highlight something, you're going to see the orange background like that. Something else to mention is our swipe is completely different for 3.0. We've got this awesome green accenting uh, for uh, 3.0, as you can see there. That looks fantastic. It's been degridded, so you can't see any grids. Um, the, uh, the microphone button has been increased in size to allow you to easily hit it. So I really like the change there. Similar theme as what we saw in Phoenix with the orange, but it's green, uh, and we love it. We love to see that. I think it's a cool change, uh, so I myself like that. Haptic feedback does work on both phones. Um, if you're having problems with i9000 capacitor buttons lighting up when you touch the screen like that, you can always try the Guardian Bob APK called Light Me Up. I've got a video about that in the channel as well. Uh, so you can try that, but haptic feedback works on all four buttons. Uh, I believe Mike was one of the innovators for getting the home haptic working, and we appreciate that because it's finding its way into other i9000 based ROMs. Um, another thing to mention is both ROMs are running Super Curio Voodoo Lag Fix. Uh, obviously he has great work, we appreciate that. Uh, we've got uh, a little more to talk about here. We've got ad blocking built in for 3.0. We appreciate that. Uh, that's up to you. You know, the free apps that are ad supported, that is how they generate income on those. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to do that. But just keep in mind that free apps are ad supported for a reason, and that does create revenue for the developer and gives them a reason to develop. Because although they love it, you know, it always helps to be monetized in a small part. Um, let's see. We've got. Uh, We've got a couple of apps that are native that I do like and I wanted to talk about. We've got the Neldar Kernel Flashing app already built in, the SGS Kernel Flasher right there, as well as voltage control for undervolting. Um, obviously, that's something you may want to do if you're running an uh, overclocked, uh, undervolted uh, kernel, so that way you can maximize battery life. Uh, 3.0 is sporting the all new JPA Wi Fi firmware fix that should ensure slightly better battery life. Um, so that, that may be something to note for 3.0. Both phones have modded cameras, and what I mean by that is the camera has now been hacked to use the power button as a, um, as a, uh, as a snapshot. So if I click power up there, we get a snapshot. really gives it a more camera-like touch and feel. I've noticed that after you take a picture, you cannot use the home button to go home. You have to use the back button. If you were to take a picture and review it, then the home button becomes live again. So small bug there, but not a big deal. Present on both ROMs, and probably present with any ROM using that camera, uh, but not a big deal by any means. Um, you cannot tie the notification volume to the ringer volume in either ROM and obviously what I mean by that is if you go to sound and volume you don't get the option for that not a big deal one thing to note that's awesome in 3.0 is you now have the four unlock screen where you can choose Android Glass Puzzle and Epic so if you wanted to switch to Epic we'd make the switch turn it off turn it on bam Epic unlock so that's an awesome mod we're super glad to see that in the 2.2.1 and hope it finds its way into cognition and in some of the other ROMs um, Maybe someone can edit the policy.jar files and, and make that change. Uh, so we've gone over just about everything there. We've gotten our baselines. We've mentioned a lot of other things. So at this time, I do have a bonus for you guys. And I want to show you what the all-new Steam Recovery looks like running on this. So I've got that on 3.0. Uh, it is available with the Glitter Ball. So I'll kill this phone. And we're going to go ahead and power off into Recovery Mode. And center up there got the cool shut off. These phones turn off extremely fast as well as booting up extremely fast so it's really impressive to see that. So we're about to boot back up into recovery mode 
And for those of you that are curious about the steam recovery, it's really cool. It's built off Clockwork Mod. Uh, obviously, we preach the development on both Clockwork Mod and Steam Recovery. It's fantastic, though. So you get this cool boot screen, and we're about to get into a fully touch-based, capacitive, button-working type of menu. That does a lot of the same things, but gives you a lot of cool features for lag fix and a couple of other options as well. Uh, so obviously, we've got our... Our, our, our options here we could choose install and bam look it works right with the touch of a button versus using the power buttons and uh, volume buttons to toggle so we could choose our zip and everything moves just as if it were a true GUI it's really cool and to go back we just press back so we can uh, reboot normally it can do a whole bunch of cool stuff you could reboot in a download mode such as I just did and uh, there's a lot of cool options with that so we're really excited to see that as well so um, I do appreciate you for stopping by that's serendipity 3.0 I recommend you try it out if you're a serendipity fan or looking for a cool new ROM for Captivate it's a fantastic build by a fantastic developer. I want to say thanks to Mike for developing this content as well as all the other developers that pitched in and helped make this possible. Uh, I'm enjoying reviewing these ROMs and I hope you are too. Um, as I mentioned to other developers on the Cognition video, I will be getting to your ROM soon. So please just be patient and uh, I, I look forward to reviewing that. And uh, I appreciate the developers that are embedding the code in the original post. That really helps me out, helps the channel out. And to be honest, it promotes your ROM. So I do appreciate that. So there's my shameless plug. But anyways, that's ROMs in a Flash for Serendipity 3.0. If you're looking to flash, good luck.